Hey guys, it's Bear with the Gimby Camper. We're out today on this weekend's adventure. We went car camping. Now some of you guys may not know what car camping is. I have a couple of friends that when I say that they're like, Are you going camping in a car? No. Car camping is when you pack your car up, you drive to a primitive campsite somewhere out in the woods and you go camping. So it's kind of in between camping in a camper and backpacking. You have all the conveniences of your car, which can lead to a whole other set of issues, which I'll go over in just a minute. Um, but, you know, you're still out in the woods and you don't have like an air conditioner or any of that stuff that belongs in your camper. You know, this isn't something that I do often enough. Uh, one of my friends actually said, hey, let's go camping. And this is kind of what he picked to do. And here we are. So we're out in the Cherokee National Forest. You know, there's a lot of sites like this in the National Forest. This site's free. All you got to do is drive out here. Um, I happen to like this site because I know not everybody agrees with my opinion on this. But you know I like to, to shoot guns and there's a gun range about a half a mile down the road and so you know this if you watch my G Creek video uh, for the campground there this is about five miles past G Creek um, on the same row and I think the the shooting range is five and a half miles from the interstate so if you're going down Spring Creek Road and you get to the gun range you went too far. There's three sites. They're numbered one, two, and three. Um, two and three is right across from each other. And to tell you the truth, I can't really remember where one is. But, you know, I like it out here. It's beautiful, as you can see. There's some river right behind me here. Actually, it's Spring Creek. It does feed into the Hawassi River, which is, which is what is at G Creek down here. Um, but, you know, I really like it. So what's the pros and cons of car camping? Well, the pros is you get to bring a lot of stuff. The cons are also you get to bring a lot of stuff. So the problem is you try to bring too much stuff. You know, I got a truck. I filled it up with some firewood and uh, the portable Blackstone grill and a cooler. And I mean, we had a ton of stuff and even some air mattresses. When I go tent camping, my back doesn't really like uh, traditional tent camping. I'd rather sleep in a hammock, but my daughter was coming. She'd rather sleep in the tent. So we got a double layer of like full-size air mattresses. Now the problem with that was there wasn't a whole lot of insulation there because they're not insulated. So we slept on top of like an old Coleman bag, but the first night I was still pretty cold, but it was about 32 degrees, you know. It's just something that I want to say, if you hadn't done before, get out there and try it. We had some company over for dinner, drove all the way out here in the Bumble yesterday. I'll show you some pictures of our time here. You know, get out there to those, those national forests. It's free camping. Free. Free. You know, very little restrictions. You just got to camp in a campsite, which in the national forest here, in the Cherokee forest, you can you know, backpack about anywhere. Now they do have some restrictions around some of the major rivers about, uh, no, you have to stay a quarter of a mile away from the river. But, you know, that's only in certain areas and, you know, it's, it's not that strict. Just be careful, you know, the whole leave no trace. And you pack your trash up when you leave. Don't leave it a mess when you, come, when you go because then they're not going to leave these beautiful areas for us to, to come and enjoy for free. Um, but like I say, I'll show you some, some pictures of our time here and our adventure. And I didn't get any pictures at the range yesterday, but we're getting ready to go back for a few minutes before we go back to civilization. So we'll, uh, we'll show you how the old kid does with a rifle these days. <laughs> 